I'm gonna sit down and talk to you about different weight sizes to make that woolly bug act completely different. Some things to think about when you're rigging your young woolly bug is your weight choice. Whenever you're flipping shallow cover, having the rate of fall can determine whether you get that bite or you don't. When I want this bait to glide, which is what's really cool about this bait is how it glides in the water. It doesn't just go straight down. If I want that really good glide, I'm gonna rig up either a quarter or a 3 16 ounce weight. That allows that bait, instead of it hitting the water and just driving straight down, the ribs on the side of it and how the tail is, it just kind of it shimmers down. It falls in that um, shallow water cover and entices those bass to bite. Now, if I want my woolly bug to fall really fast to try to get a reaction strike out of those bass, I'm gonna jump up to either a 5 16 or a 3 8 when you're fishing real shallow, you don't want to spook them with a half ounce. That's too much for me. Because a half ounce, I mean, it really, it can even drive it down in the mud to where those fish can't find the bait as well. So if I stay with that 5 16 or 3 8 I'm able to flip up to the cover and keep the bait in the strike zone longer and shake that bait as hard as I can shake it. And it doesn't move the bait, it just sits there and it makes that bait quiver. That's what those, the heavier weights do. If you do it with a lighter weight, Whenever you're shaking it, that bait's gonna start inching out of the drag zone where those fish are. So keep that heavier weight and allows that bait to stay right there where you, where you want it to in that strike zone, where if you want more of a glide to catch those fish on the actual fall of the bait, stay with that lighter weight on it. When I'm flipping cover, I keep the colors pretty simple. I really like the brim color because it looks just like a perch and they do not like those in their bed. When I've got crawfish really big time around that I'm looking at, they have a lot of red and that Virgo red really matches them well. When I'm in a real dirty water situation, black and blue is always my go-to. And when I've got real clear water, I wanna stay natural, nothing beats that green pumpkin purple. And one thing I really like about the woolly bug is the tentacles and stuff off the back. It looks just like a crawfish. And also you can take, tear away the tail of it and it gives it even more action. You can tell it doesn't take much and it's just action packed. There we go. That's one thing about it. When you're fishing shallow water and stuff, you don't always have to change your bait. Just change your weight size. <laughs>